fun. It's my birthday. Yes, guys, it's my birthday. Yes, it's a special day because a queen is born. I be a queen was born seventh of September. It's actually a beautiful day, even though it's raining over here. I mean, that's signs of blessings, right? I am super, super excited for today, and I cannot wait for all the beautiful things this day has for me. Yes, I'm selfish because I am allowed to. It's my birthday. Day. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for all the well wishes. I mean, since 12 a.m., some of you have been sending me messages on Instagram, DMs. I appreciate you. And for those of you asking, oh yeah, I'm going to be putting out my account number. I've not done that before, but I'll do it. Once again, thank you guys so very much. Yes, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Aizen Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys yesterday was a bit slow honestly not much really happened but of course you all know your girl will always have something to talk about as long as it's big brother niger yes so they had their oil flame tax which the team of White Money Adekunle, Soma, and Ile Baye won. They won the sum of 5 million naira. Talk about back-to-back -back win. I remember the day before, they were also part of the group, except for Neo. Neo was part of that group that also won, you know, a prize. And yesterday, they also won prizes too. Like, I think all of them should be sticking together because they always do their best when they are put in the same team. A very big congratulations to them. Let's talk about the Kim and Cross ship. I think that's the name of their ship, if it's even a real ship. We're also acting funny. Like, what was going on there? At some point, I just got tired of watching Kim and Cross, their conversations because it looks like Kim is trying to, like, detach herself or maybe trying to prepare Cross because she knows she will be leaving on sunday and you know one thing the housemates are no fools at all like most of them have made out the fact that kim might be a fake housemate like i think it was even was it angel that said it in her diary session and big brother was like have you seen a fake housemate in the history of big brother you know win the head of house challenge but again these housemates are humans with brains so of course it's easy for them to figure out especially after big brother did what he did with prince and kim is one of the house guests that is really feeling that these guys have made out that she is a fake housemate or martial law on his own does not really care he's just doing his head of house duties making sure the house are focused on their wager presentation now back to this whole kim and cross ship um do you, i honestly the way i'm looking at it i feel like cross is way into kim than kim is into cross away from that alex has been feeling really really down like baby girl is really not having that much fun anymore i mean this was bound to happen ever since prince left we've been seeing her yes yeah, she was in high spirits at some point but later on she started going down 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 and after yesterday sucks of course she did not win and you know there's something that happens in big brother's house like if you have been losing back to back it kind of messes up with your psyche and i think that's you know part of the things that messed up with hers too and she and elibaye had like a little bit of issue and elibaye was like whenever you are angry you just take out the aggression of me but later on they are cool you know she had a talk with doyen where she was you know mentioning how she feels to doyen how she feels down tired and all of that you know even i think she told who, who was that that they don't really care about her anymore in the house and all of that and Dekula was also saying something of that sort too Denita, and he was like the way prince was extracted from the house on sunday that alex hasn't been really able to deal with that i think she's human and things like that are bound to happen when prince was in the house you could see she was really lively she was bubbly she was everywhere because she has her own person somebody she's known for years so having the person leave abruptly like that of course it will affect her i mean i should just pray that she finds a way to get herself back up you know maybe win a time 
attacks or two, that will boost her morale. Abiuna, I don't think so. Let me know in the comment section. Away from that, guys, I don't know how I forgot to talk about this yesterday. The plan by Neo Energy, Summer, and Cross to get Messi, AK, and CC to clash. Ha! Like, I've noticed since the season started, it has always been the guys that have been insecure. Yes, I'm going to use the word insecure. Insecure about their position in the show. Like, they've almost made it so evident that it's a girl that is going to win. Like... We didn't actually think that when the show started, but the way they have been plotting, planning, scheming, it's not very obvious to us that it's the women that will take this crown again. Because what is the need for you to want to initiate a fight between the two top girls so that even if you don't win, that they too will not win? I know it's a game or I know it's a game of strategies and all of that, but for me, it's just not cool. Like it's cool for you to plan and all of that, you know, to win, how you're going to go ahead and all of that, how you're going to enhance your own game. Because I think that's the main reason why they're allowed to plot, you know, to nominate people and all of that. That's all cool. But plotting and planning to make two people fight that's not cool now. I be how wanna see him. I mean, it's almost like what Pere did some weeks back. And we're all on his case because of that. Now, Cross is doing the same thing, and I don't see this whole opera on social media. Or maybe it's because it's Cross. Once again, I like to say that Cross is not as oblivious to things or ignorant as we make him to seem. Cross is not that innocent for him to actually you know, come up with that plan with Neo and Summer, you could see that he actually knows what he's doing. So I think we should, you know, stop treating Cross with kick gloves and also treat him the way we'll treat maybe a pair or another person if they do the same thing. These are some of the things that happened yesterday. So I said, okay, well, let me come and gist you guys what some of the things that has been happening in the house. The housemates are really working hard towards their wager. For the first time in a long time, we are seeing people putting in the work some more than others some still complaining but i mean that tax is coming out really good and i can't wait for their wager presentation tomorrow and you know tonight it's all about the pool party yes guys on that note i'd like to say everybody thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.